action. And yes, action. Action. Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica Hobart. If you're new here, it's so good to have you. Have you ever wondered what I eat in a day? No? Well, apparently somebody wonders because that's a video that people put on YouTube. And guess what, guys? I made one. So today's video is what I eat in a day. And I don't know if it's that interesting, but it's gonna be fun. So like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And this week, I'm also gonna be putting out a second video. And this one's gonna be more deep and lovely. And it's about, dun 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 dun, my eating disorder. Cool, I can't wait to talk to you about it. Do I have one now? Who knows, you have to watch the video to find out. Okay, I'll see you guys later, bye! Who actually starts their video by making you wonder if they have an eating disorder? Okay, spoiler alert, I don't have an eating disorder, but you still have to watch my next video to see what I'm gonna talk about. Okay, so I start my days by jogging to the beach. Then this day I went to Starbucks to get cold brew from Andrea. She's so great and I love cold brew. I get it with a little bit of milk. So here I am post jog, drinking my cold brew. I also get some water because it's important to stay hydrated and I'm just loving the creativity on the spelling of of my name there. Then I go home and Eloise starts her day with Peppa Pig in Spanish and eating some cereal. I'm super hungry right now, but I feel better about cooking when the dishes are done, so I'm gonna do all of these dishes. But before I do that, I'm gonna make myself toast with almond butter. Then I'm gonna make myself eggs with vegetables and cheese. I use cereal bread and Trader Joe's almond butter and orange juice. Oh, I take gummy vitamins and folic acid and a juice blend vitamin every day to be healthy. Sean Hover is an excellent breakfast maker. You should all know that. So today we did breakfast burritos and he heated up his tortilla on the toaster like so. And then it's egg and melted cheese. And maybe that's a chicken sausage or a some kind of sausage, I don't know. And Texas Pete hot sauce because it's all the rage. It's his favorite. He used that skate wheel to keep it in place while he found his chips to add to the experience. Perfect texture. <laughs> and then there I am making mine. Uh, same thing egg, cheese, some mysterious sausage, spinach, and then I added more spinach. So generally, I add vegetables to just normal everyday things because then it's healthier and I don't have to eat as much salad. And I added guacamole and this yummy Parmesan cheese and this spice called Herba Mare from Canada that my sister showed me. At one point, I ate a nectarine and I was just so hilarious when I did it. And then also later in the day, this is a completely separate time, I made this little number, which is plain Greek yogurt and no sugar added granola and a nectarine. And I put stevia and cinnamon in it. And I tried to film the process of that, but I lost the clips. So you're just gonna watch me eat it. It's so good, you guys. You should definitely make it. And then I made dinner, which I got a bit creative for, spicy chorizo, and I cut up a bunch of vegetables, and I sauteed them in a pan, and then I chopped up a bunch of cauliflower. Oh, wait for it. What happened? There's a worm in my cauliflower. That's so or, Is it a caterpillar? No, it felt like a worm. Oh. Ew, I hate it. You have to kill it. That was in I the cauliflower. Put it outside, just throw it down. Oh, I hate it. Sorry. It's going to climb. It's going to climb. It's not fast. This it's thing is fast. as slow as a snail. Okay. In fact, it's like a brother of a snail. Okay, are you going to kill it or just put it outside? I'm going to take it outside. Okay, I give it a life. Hello. Wait, what? That's you. I know. That's disgusting. disgusting. Is it? Oh, making butterfly. Okay, ready? Okay. Wait, is it going to die? Oh, it's not going to die. It's on the neighbor's porch. No, no. Yeah. it's not going to die. Put it on the neighbor's porch. It's raining outside. No, this, is, this is where he wants to be. If you throw it down, it's like suicide. No, it's murder. Oh, oh. He's still on the napkin. Oh, just, hey, no, 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 buddy. You're crazy. Put him on the neighbor's part. Put him on the dead plant. He's going to come no, back to your cauliflower. Not. Well, he'll be a butterfly. No, he will, he'll survive. He's, he's going back into the, into the wild. Look at that drop. He will die. No, caterpillars don't work like that. He could fall off a no, building. No, he's fine. No, he will die. He won't die. Put him on the neighbor's branch. Why does it matter? Okay. The neighbor's branch. No. He's in the tree. He died. He's, he didn't die. He's, he's in the tree. He's doing. He's living a full life. Now. He killed him. Why didn't he even put him outside? 
I don't want to put him on the name of Grandpa. Killed him? The room of We're like, throw him off. He's happy. <laughs> no, he died. He's, he's a butterfly. Dead. He's going to be the best flying butterfly no, he ever because died. he's already had a little he experience. He broke his, all his legs and his back. What are you going to do now? I'm going to wash it. Mm. Poor guy, I was, he's probably so scared. Well, now he's dead, so we can talk to God about how that felt. He's not dead. He he's is. alive and well. Yeah, right. He killed him. I don't even know why you took him outside to kill him. Could have just smushed him in our trash can. <laughs> okay, cleaning the cauliflower. After that adventure was over, it was back to cooking, I made this cheese sauce with cheese, cream and butter and I mixed all of that together while it was heating up and then uh, in the pan so you've got everything else sauteing together and then once the cheese sauce was all melty and yummy then I added it to the vegetables and chorizo and then I put all of that in the casserole dish to go in the oven. The oven was set to like maybe 220 degrees Celsius and I cooked it for, or baked it for 10 minutes, I think. It came out looking like that. It was all bubbly and nice, and the whole house smelled good. And Sean thought it was great. It was great. Yeah, good job. Yeah, yeah. Actually, everybody who tried it thought it was really delicious, so that was successful. Then we went to the mountain, Montserrat, which you may have seen on my Instagram, and then we went to Burger King, which appears to be the happiest place on earth. It was jam-packed full of families and teenagers, and little toddlers and we were loving it so we were with Dave and Huckleberry and Sarah and I ordered a happy meal which came with a salad fries and a burger and then I shared some of Sean's burger and shared the potato wedges that we had and it was great I don't know what it is about European fast food places but they just taste better and feel nicer than the ones in the States Sean added potato wedges to his burger because he's just so creative, you know? And Eloise loved to watch her dad be so cool. And then Sean and Eloise shared an ice cream and Eloise was very cute as she usually is. And after that we all drove home and that was the end of what I ate that day. And so now you really know what I eat in a single day and I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. Okay, see you later guys. Bye. Mama, Mama. Mama, 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 mama. <laughs>